Hey guys, how's it going? Today is May 1st, which is um, a really exciting time of the year for um, herping in the state of Colorado, especially in my area. That's the time of year that milk snakes are really on the move. So hopefully uh, we're going to be seeing some milk snakes soon. Hopefully, oh, that was a bullfrog right there. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, hopefully sometime this week. Probably not today. I'm just walking around hoping to see my first bull snake of the year today. I'm a little behind schedule with them. This time last year, I had three. So yeah, definitely hoping to see a bull snake today. Just gonna be biking around a local area. But yeah, lots of fun trips up coming in the month of May. Lots of good things planned. Um, I'm graduating this month as well. So hopefully that'll mean I'll have a lot more time to um, get out. But yeah, so stay tuned. Hopefully I get a bull snake or any kind of herb today really. But um, yeah, let's go find Nothing some snakes. Nothing too insane. We're back at this little area that I see lots of painted turtles at. There's one right there, kind of smaller one, one basking. There's some over there. I mean, there are painted turtles like crazy, which is nice because I didn't see that many painted turtles in this pond last year. Nice look at that. Small one right there. I, the small ones are usually a lot braver than the big ones. There's one just kind of floating out there. Yeah. Let's go find a bull snake though, or a garter, or a turtle in hand, or a snapper. And there's lots of cool things I want to see out here today. Bull snake's the main one though. But yeah, good stuff. Let's see if we can see some more. Um, that one might have swam away. Oh, those are frogs, I think. There's a bunch of bullfrogs. Oh, there's another turtle. Yeah, right through there. Cool. Lots of turtles on the move. It'd be awesome to see a snapping turtle today. Maybe. All right, I'm annoyed I didn't bring my uh, dip net with me because that is a uh, common snapping turtle. Cool. I have no idea if he's going to bolt or not if I try to get closer to him, but I'm um, sweet. Um, oh, let's see, where's he going? All right, I'm gonna try to catch him. All right, we're in the water. He's right there. I hope that he hopes that he's like blending in and I can't see him, which I think is the case. And then I'll be able to just scoop him right up. So we'll see. I've not caught very many snappers and they've all been pretty small. This one's not huge, so good stuff. All right, I got him. First in hand snapping turtle of the year. Cool. Oh, I really hope it doesn't bite me. I don't think he will. Awesome. Common snapping turtle. This one's not very big. They can get easily way bigger than this, but cool. Yeah, that thing's like a dragon. Look at that mouth. Wow. That's amazing. These dudes are really cool. Really, really cool turtles. Look at that tail, too. You see why they're called Serpentina, Calytra Serpentina. Awesome. Really cool. Really cool. This water's pretty deep as well, but always worth it for a snapper. All right, that snapper was making me nervous. He was getting pretty close to biting my hand and I was really not interested in that. So I just I just let him go. I didn't bring him up on land or anything. Got some cool pictures of him though. Awesome. Common snapping turtle, first one in hand of the year. I bet there will probably be more out. So cool. unfortunately at this pond, there's a bunch of invasive bullfrogs. That green dot right there, that's a bullfrog. Um, he's gonna jump away, but I just want to see how close I can get to him. There's another one and there he goes too. So yeah, those guys are invasive. They were introduced um, to Colorado partially to sell hunting licenses actually for people to like small game licenses to hunt their legs and whatnot. And um, they've been absolutely disastrous. There probably used to be leopard frogs at this location, but um, now there's definitely not because um, partially because of the American bullfrog. So don't like those guys. But All right, nice. so we're out here today. We put some boards up here. I'm with a friend from school, and uh, we were checking the boards, and we just ran into this beardus. This is my first time seeing a snake at this location for like 10 years, so super cool. Just basking in this bush. I would have walked right past him to be honest. So good eye. This is my first beardus in my home county this year, so that's pretty cool. Probably just leave this dude alone, but yeah. Prairie rattles. All right, I switch spots. Look at this. Two yellow-bellied racers. Oh, one's going spastic. I might just have to get these two and get in hands of both of them. Holy shit. Pardon me, pardon my language. Holy cow, I should say. That one's going crazy. He's probably gonna bite me. Awesome, wow, that one's big. Oh, two look racers. at this, double flip. This one's really angry and trying to get away. This one's just super chill. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, this one's really jumpy. If I had to guess, this one's gonna bite me if I pick him up. This one will probably be chill though. I wanna get both of them in hand, but I'm a little afraid of this one, I'm not gonna lie. 
usually their bites don't hurt too bad, but this one's pretty big and he's pretty feisty. This one will probably just play dead. This one's a little worrying though. But cool, double flip. Three snakes today. Two racers and a, and a uh, rattlesnake. I'm glad I came here. I, was, I wasn't gonna come here, but I'm glad I did because two racers. All right, here you go. The big one was starting to make a move for it, so just grabbed them. They're big. I'll do a 0.5, there you go. Yeah, not bad at all. Kind of misty, it's raining a little bit right now, so. Cool. Sorry, I'm trying to get it to focus on them. If but Yeah, so these guys, Caliber Constrictor, Caliber Constrictor, Flava Ventress, oh, it does not want to focus here. Let me try to put them on my arm. I don't think that's gonna work either. But yeah, so these guys are probably our second most common snake here, wow. See why they're called yellow-bellied, whoa! See why they're called yellow-bellied racers, right? Wow, amazing. I wish it would focus, but it is what it is. Cool. Nice. All right, I think I've harassed these two guys long enough. I'm gonna go put their rock back down, put both of them under it. Good stuff. This male has been very, very fighty. I wonder if I can get a video of him striking it. No. He's beautiful, though. They are really, really pretty species. <laughs> yeah. I, I assume this one's the male, and that the smaller, gentler one is a female, but just my opinion. I haven't actually checked. This one looks like the male, though. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's not too happy, but that's right. I'm going to try to get an in-hand photo of both of them on my arm if I can, because my phone wasn't focusing on them, but yeah. All Fun. right. I don't know if this one will go under. Oh yeah, he will. He's thinking about it. He's still pretty feisty. Oh. Can you not find a way under? He's trying to find a way under, I think. Get the female back under. She was much easier to work with. Oh, come on, phone. There she is, nice. What's up guys, today's May 2nd, I'm out east. Um, looking for milk snakes, hognose, red sided garters, rowdies, um, an area that is kind of notorious for producing a lot of milk snakes. So I'm um, really hoping to get a couple. Hopefully we see multiple, but honestly one would be more than enough. But yeah, so we're out east hoping for a good day of herping. I will keep you guys posted on what we find. Well, we just cruised two back-to-back -back DOR Virtus, man. That sucks. There's another one right up there too. Oh, all right. First live find out here out east we got a uh, prairie race runner it's my first one of the year a little bit little guy in his car. these guys are really pretty and colorful they're pretty common in my area but nice blue tail on these juveniles that is a uh, lesser earless lizard that's my first one of these of the year as well cool got a uh, plains box turtle first of the year for these guys too all right we were able to scoop it up plains box turtle subspecies of the ornate box turtle this is only my second ever one of these guys. They are just so pretty. All right, box turtle number two. This one's a bit more brave. You can actually tell what sex these guys are based off the color of their eye, which is pretty cool. Look at that, wow. It's my third one ever. First one I've ever seen like out of his shell like that. So cool. We're gonna put him down, watch him run. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Sweet, almost hit this guy on a very sandy little road. But we didn't. Another box turtle, fourth of the day now. Or, uh, yeah, fourth of the day. All right, guys, two milks. Finally, today has been a real struggle, but we finally got, and they're two small ones, and they are two absolute beauties. Wow. That is great to see, especially after today. Been pretty, pretty slower than the lizards and box turtles. So that one's rattling his tail. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at Sweet. how different they are. This one, I know. nice and kind of paler looking than this one, just bright. Red. I know these are on your phone, but all right, number milk snakes number two and three for the year. Back under, they go. Awesome. What's up, guys? Today is May sixth. We are or um, May fifth. Sorry, we are at a um, very local spot close to my house where I got my first uh, reptiles of the year this year. Actually, those sliders from a couple of videos ago. 
We are looking for bull snakes and water snakes today. Still have not seen either of those yet this year, so I'm really hoping for that. Also hoping to see a snapper, garter snakes today. Yeah, so let's see what we can cook these keys from their little kids. Right when I was filming the uh, intro for today. Sweet. In shed wandering garter. I found a wandering garter at basically this exact same spot last year, so yeah, cool. First snake of the day. Glad to get something. Hoping for a bull or a wandering, or a bull or water snake, sorry. Um, whoa, he almost got away. I'm not, I haven't even taken any pictures of this guy yet, so I'm gonna get some pictures of him and then, look at him rolling, that's crazy. But yeah, cool. Good find. First snake of the day, like five minutes in, so we'll take that. The uh, wandering garters are out like crazy today. There's number two, like 30 seconds after the other one. Wow. Hey. This one's not in shed. This one's also a bit bigger and a bit thicker. Cool. Nice. Well, it's a good sign that these guys are out. Hopefully that means the water snakes and bull snakes are out too. This is just crawling around. Oh, so he just started filming. He disappeared. He just went in there. Cool. Two wandering garters for the day. Yeah, we were just cleaning up the wandering garters today. Here's number three. Probably another two minutes after the third, second one, so. This one must be good, good, good. Wow, he smells bad. Cool, just walking along. There's rocks here. I'd love to see a plains garter, but or a bull snake, but I mean three wandering garters. Hard to go wrong with that. Good stuff. He's just under this rock right here. Cool. Well, I know wandering garters are really common, but this is kind of ridiculous. This is four and ten minutes. I bet that's a den right there. Wow. Yeah, that's where he's trying to go. This one's really thick. It's not very long, but he's thick. I mean, look at him. Wow. All right, well, four wandering garters already. Let me get him on my arm. There we go. Oh, never mind. Goodness, the four wandering garters is insane. Wow, here goes. Big wandering garter. Literally like 30 seconds after the big one. Here's a really small one that I didn't even see. So, um, family was walking by and they're like, oh my gosh, snake. So came up here, picked them up. Very small wandering garter. This guy's probably born last year, but goodness, man. That's already five garters. I've been here for like probably, I think 15 minutes. I've already seen five wandering garters. Wow. Hoping that translate, translates into some um, success with yeah. Pichuophis, but we'll see. Can't go wrong with Damnophis, right? Common snap, turtle species number two, reptile number six for today. Wow. Only been here like 20 minutes, already seen six reptiles, so. I wonder if Doing pretty close to the snapper. That's him right there. Awesome. I think that it's like kind of cloudy right now, so I imagine that um, the shift in pressure is what make, is making all the snakes go crazy, but turtles too, I guess. Awesome to see. Now I think four snappers this year. Cool. All right, let's go. Bull snake, first bull snake of 2023. That piece of concrete right there. So I'm at a park. I recently redid this bridge and people told me there was a bull snake den here that they thought got destroyed. They didn't make it over the winter, but looks like they did. Awesome. That's probably from last year, last year's uh, neonate, but um. Wow, that's actually also the first time I've ever flipped a bull snake, which is kind of surprising because they're pretty common here. I'd say they're probably the second most encountered species in this area other than wandering garters. So um, that's awesome though, nice bull snake. First of the year, finally, it took me long enough. Sweet. I just, I'm such a big fan of these snakes, man. They are, like I said, they're pretty common around here, but man, they are just so cool looking, dude tolerable like I mean they can survive a lot of conditions I mean clearly they survived construction all winter right there so awesome man I'm relieved to see this guy that they're dead here didn't get destroyed awesome all right while I was oh man there he is so while I was taking pictures of the bull snake that wandering garter just showed up so wow dude there are so many snakes out today it's crazy I still have this little man too let's go find an erodia now huh wow dude there are so many snakes out today, it's actually crazy. I haven't even been here an hour and I've already seen seven now. That's insane, wow. 
May, man, it's a magical time to be a herper in Colorado. Right. First bull snake of the year. Back under his piece of concrete. Awesome, let's go find more snakes. Northern water snake. First northern water snake of the year. Wow. Wow. Cool. That was what I came here to see, so. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That was a wandering girder. It was in Rhodia. I also just lost a wandering girder over there, so I'm already up to 10 snakes today. Wow. That's insane. Northern water snake, man. I always see them here. I've seen, I think, four ever, and all four were in this little, like, 100 yard stretch here. So they really liked it. Yeah, he was on the land, like, right here. And I heard him, and I saw his gray tail, and I thought it was just another wandering girder. And then he jumped in right there. And uh, yeah, Nerodia. Wow. Awesome. That was cool to get a video of him swimming. Look at this. It's another snappy turtle out on the move. Holy cow. That is crazy. Look at that tail. Wow. It's like a dinosaur. That's amazing. Wow. Man, today has just been killer. The turtles are just amazing. Arson two today. Plus a water snake, a bull snake, and probably, I think, nine wandering garters. And I've only been here an hour. Not gonna touch this guy, not gonna bother him at all, just gonna enjoy him. There's a pond right over there. That was where the first snapper is, so I imagine he's probably heading that way, but wow. Look at that. That is amazing. Just incredible. Wow, and it is just crazy out here. I just double flip these garters into that rock. Every everything I touch turns to gold right now, man. Two snappers, bull snake, water snake, and Ooh. 14 wandering garters? I've lost a couple. I'm not too heartbroken about losing wandering garters though, you know? Dude, this one's crazy looking. Oh, let me drop that stick. There we go. Look, he's like mottled. He's got a green head. Wow. What a beautiful garter snake. Holy cow. Dude, I'm just cleaning up right now. Man, I'm seeing I've seen so many garter snakes today, it's hard to hard to believe, but. Yeah, this is probably the coolest one. I'll show you how beautiful this snake's head is. Wow, it doesn't show up as cool on the camera as it does in person. It's like teal. Wow, beautiful snake. All right, releasing nice. this really cool looking garter. I feel loop off my fingers. Oh, wrong way, buddy. Under your rock. Under your rock. Go under your rock. Awesome. Wow. Man, today's been insane. We're literally under every rock. Cannot believe that. God, there's so many of them out here. It's crazy. I think, I don't even know how many that is. Like 105, it feels like. Wow. There have been so many garters today. It's hard to believe. All right, guys, nothing too crazy. I'm just walking around in my backyard and I found a wandering garter snake. Usually, I see these guys quite often in my backyard. So, yeah, nothing too crazy, but always fun to find one. Quite literally in your backyard. So, cool. Not very big. Nothing too crazy about this guy, but fun stuff. What's up guys? Today is May 7th. We are out. Just got off work. Trying to find some herbs today. Really hoping for a milk snake or a red sided garter snake today. Um, so yeah. Let's do it. Excuse me. Today was going very poorly until I flipped this bull snake. Yes. Two bull snakes for the year. Both flipped. I didn't flip a single one last year. Here's one right here. Awesome. Look at that. Wow. That's bull snake. So that's two, man. They are just a lot more common this time of year. Um, this one is not crazy big, but obviously a lot bigger than the one we got. Um, a couple days ago. Sweet. This is my first snake at this uh, locale too, so that's pretty cool. First snake this year. Um, there are milks here, which are the big target, but we'll never complain about a nice, friendly bull, bull snake. Pituophis canifer. This guy's snake. been hard to take pictures of, but isn't he cool? I'm a really big fan of these snakes, but I think I've harassed him enough. We're gonna go put him back under his board and try to get a milk snake, but yeah, cool. Nice to get skunked. I thought for sure I was going to get skunked today, but 
Nice. And off he goes. Slowly but surely, he's making his way under there. Yeah, very cool find. Very nice to flip a bull snake. Oh, he's not interested in going under his board. Oh, the snake. Yeah, he's just cutting right through it. Well, maybe not. I guess I'll just set it down. There we go. Awesome. Very cool. Make sure this guy gets all the way under, and then we are going to keep on moving. Awesome. All right, well, there you go. Western milk snake. That was what we were hoping to see today. I have This is the uh, smallest one I've ever seen. This is also my fourth of the year, which is more than I had last year. I only had three last year, so good numbers. First in hand in the uh, Denver metro area. So the uh, other two earlier in this video were, I guess, technically in the Denver metro area, but a little further away. This thing is cracking. Wow, look at that. Look towards the tail. Look at the white towards the tail. Nice. Oh, look at that belly. Beautiful snake, man. That thing is cracked. What a great find. That's what we were hoping to see today. So there you have it. Western milk snake. Gosh, great these find. snakes are just amazing. This is, I think this is the smallest one I've ever seen. Yeah, man. Look at that red. And the white tail. Gosh, these guys are just amazing. Man, that is why we love doing this thing, man. The Western Milk Snake. That is, that is my favorite snake for sure. I won't, I won't lie. That is my favorite snake species that I've ever seen. Uh, I actually got my life for Western Milk Snake a year ago yesterday. So, um, super cool to see another one right around this time of year. This is their time of year, like I said, May. So, oh my gosh, that's just awesome. <sighs> Gosh, I don't even know what else to say. I mean, so these guys are related to king snakes. They're both Lampropeltis. Um, the main prey for these guys in Colorado are actually line snakes, but there are no line snakes in this area. So um, probably lots of bugs and rodents when they get big enough. This guy's probably all on bugs right now though, because he's, that's my thumb for size. So yeah, he's small, very docile, very chill. It's pretty cold right now. It's like 60, I think my car said 64 and cloudy right now, so. It actually rained right after I found that bull snake too. So, yeah, what a find though. That is Dude, it's awesome. It's amazing how good this milk snake has been for pictures. He's hardly moved at all. I've gotten so many great pictures of him. So, man, look at that tail. That red. That thing is, God, that's an amazing looking milk snake. Wow. I have this gentilis, man. Don't get much oh, better. Than oh. <sighs> man, I'm so bad at filming release clips. It's actually crazy. Oh, he'll do it himself. Oh, I hope he's not going under this one right here because I'm about to flip this one. Where's he going? Oh, he's right there. Where are you going? Oh, I see him. He's going up under this. This is the one I found him under, so awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Gosh, I love another snake. Yellow-bellied racer under that big rock right there. He was chill for 30 seconds, and I thought he was going to be nice and we'd get pictures of him, but... He's kind of feisty now. Look at that yellow. Man, that's a nice looking snake. Awesome. Well, the first spot we were at for like maybe an hour and a half and only got the bull snake. Now we've been here for 20 minutes and have a racer and a milk. So, cool. Very pretty racer, even though he's going to be Sending in. this racer back under his rock. Awesome. Nice. Good stuff. Hey, what's up, guys? Today is May 9th. I'm at a new spot that I've never herped before. Um, there's water snakes here, hoping there's red-sided garter snakes here. It's beautiful. It's like 75 and sunny right now. I mean, it's just gorgeous out. So today should be a lot of fun. Hoping to see a lot of herps today. Yeah, should be a really good time. I'll keep you guys posted. Let's go find some snakes. All right, snakes. well, I saw three water snakes here. Um, one really small neonate and then a couple adults, and I didn't get any pictures of any of them. So you guys will just have to trust me, I guess. But I did see them. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna head upstream now, hopefully get one in hand. I've actually never had a water snake in hand before. I've seen plenty, but never in hand. Hoping for a bull snake, plains garter. Yeah, really anything goes today, but yeah, so let's go All find right, So we've actually been struggling, we've not been struggling to see snakes, but we've been struggling to like get them because we've lost four water snakes, a racer and a wandering garter, but we just got this wandering garter in hand, so cool. 
Also saw a wood duck earlier, which is pretty neat. But yeah, first in-hand snake of the day wandering garter. Nothing too crazy. Hoping for a bull or um, a water snake. But yeah, good stuff. And there he goes. Go on, dude. Eh, it's hot outside, so I don't expect him to go back under me. Yeah. Cool, wandering garter. Bullfrog is just absolutely ginormous. I thought it was a rock. And now, I mean, you see a bullfrog that size, you understand why they're so bad as invasives in Colorado for ecosystem. They're just huge and they will eat anything they can fit in their mouths. So that's crazy. I think it's huge. Northern water snake. Sorry. Very small one. Flipped him under that rock. This is the first one I've ever actually had in hand. So awesome. Nerodia sip it on, sip it on. Or Sipidon, I don't know. Cool. Good to finally get one. We lost four, so. so th like I said, this is my first ever in-hand northern water snake. Look at that banding. These are really cool looking snakes. Um, they have an anticoagulant in their saliva, so they're not venomous, but when they bite you, you can bleed quite a lot, and um, it itches a lot, apparently, but um, this one's pretty small, so. Did you really? <laughs> nice. Cool, we're gonna. Really? Go put this um, water snake back and go see wandering garter snake. Third snake in hand of the day, probably like 11th or something total, but cool. My phone's about to die, so I'm gonna keep it short, but there you go. Wandering garter, nice. Water snake, I guess not in hand, number two. Water snake, good look at one, number two. Sweet. I know I say this about like every snake that I find, but I'm a really big fan of these guys. They are so <laughs> cool looking. And now this one's going a little crazy. But nice, two in hand Nerodia. And this garter, all the garters here are really like dark. This one has basically yeah, no the pattern one that at I all. Had some Just that a little bit. Blue. Yeah, it's cool. Flipped Great. another wandering garter. Probably going to be our last snake of the day. It's been a fun day today. We lost a lot of snakes, especially early in the afternoon, but still got pretty good numbers today in a new locale too. So that's always nice. It's Never still. mind, I lied. We found one more like literally 30 seconds later. So. All right, I lied again. We got a third one. God, another one. Where's this been all day? All right, Four. this is a big one. Nice big wandering garter. I don't even know how many we've seen today. Probably like eight, seven. So cool. This one's really big, which is always What's fun. up, guys? Today was my uh, last day of high school, actually. So um, I got out and it's been raining. We got like historic rain pretty much the last couple of days. So I'm out here looking for milk snakes, racers, anything we can find today. Let's go find some snakes. It's been beautiful. Lots of rain lately. So it should be a fun day. Boom. We found them. Western milk, oh yeah. Last day of high school, pop, pop, pop off the Western milk snake. Oh yeah, that one's beautiful too. Biting himself, buddy. Nice, yes, that's awesome. Milk snake may man, can't this go wrong with it. He's been so angry. He's been so angry. He's beautiful, look at that belly. It's just an awesome snake. He's bit me quite a few times and it kind of hurts, honestly. Um, Western milk dog. I've said this a couple times already in this video just because, I mean, we've been having really good luck with these guys this time of year. But man, these are just my favorite snakes out there. They are just freaking awesome. How could you not love that thing, dude? Sweet. Look at that head. He always nice. wiggling his tail. I'm trying to pose him for photos right now. And that's how you can tell. Trying to mimic a rattlesnake. That's awesome, man. Cool. Let's see if you post well. Three, two, one. All right, this little milk snake really hurt my hands quite a lot. Oh, you're gonna go under, why do you not just do it? Come on, dude. I will do it up here then. And um, who knows what he's doing. Try one more time to get him to go back under his rock. Go on, you. Oh. All right, I forgot to film the actual release clip because he was being um, difficult, but um, yeah. Back under his rock, let's go find Wow, I've never seen this creek this high before, man. That is absolutely insane. And look at this trail right here. Man, it is wet, wet, wet out. We're gonna have some really good flipping days soon, I'll tell you that. I found a uh, coyote den. I've been here so many times that I've never seen this before. Wow, I'm actually really nervous to be here because you know, animals and their babies, but wow, that's amazing. Just got off work, met up with Brendan, Juvie Racer. Second nice. little herp, little lit house's toad. All this rain we've been getting lately is probably bringing these guys out. 
Cool. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. I am headed off to Kansas today with Caden. We're going to do a little herping road trip out there. And um, yeah, hoping for a really, really fun weekend. So stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming out soon. I'm very, very excited about it. So um, yeah, but until then, I will see you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Lots more herping content on the way. Thanks for watching.